Hello everyone, I'm Nick Chirito and welcome to how to create a highlight for the Red Fox Report. And if you are interested in working in sports television or eventually ESPN, this video is for you. Now the Red Fox Report is a halftime studio show that airs on ESPN Plus during the halftime of Marist College Sporting Events. I am one of the co-anchors and the best way for me to describe the show is when you're watching the NFL, it is the halftime of the game that you're watching and it goes to the studio then in the studio, they're showing the highlights of the games that are happening right now that you're not watching. That is what our show is, but it's for Marist College Sports. So this video is going to explain how highlights are created and put on shows that eventually air on TV. For our next show, I am creating a 25 second highlight on a Marist women's soccer game, specifically this game against St. Thomas. Since this is a pretty short highlight, I know that I need an opening and a closing shot that shouldn't be more than five seconds each, and then one or two highlights that happen from the game to fill in the rest of the time. So the first thing that I need to know is what actually happened in the game. So on the Marist Athletics website, we have this thing called the recap and the box score. So the recap essentially tells you what happened in the game. First paragraph, Marist to lose, one nothing. Second paragraph, Marist had a freshman goalkeeper, Samantha Graff, and it was her collegiate debut. So based off of that alone, I know that I need to add that one goal in the game and probably one of the saves that this freshman goalie had as she is one of the bigger story headlines from the game. So now after that, I go to the box score and find out where that only goal happened, which happened within the first three minutes of the game. And since most Marist sporting events air on ESPN+, Plus, there is the game right here. I have your screen recorded using QuickTime Player. You want to get about the first few seconds before the clip, the clip that you really want to have, and then the next few seconds after the highlight. And that goal would be the first highlight in my highlight. And then for my next potential highlight, I want to get one of the saves that this freshman goalie had. So continuing with the box score, you go to the play-by-play, -play, you look at when one of the goals happened, I chose this goal right here, which was her last of the game. Now I already screen recorded the highlight, which I have right here. Now that I have my two highlights, I need my opening and my closing shot. So for most opening shots, you want an ISO. In this instance, I just picked this moment right before the second half that has the whole team. And then for my closing shot, I have the final seconds of the game and St. Thomas's team huddle because they won the game. Now that I have all my clips, throw them into iMovie. And I've already edited this highlight. So roughly my open shot's about four seconds. Then the first highlight is about 10 seconds long, total of 14. The next highlight is about another 10 seconds, so 24. And then the closing clip is about just under two seconds long. And there is your 25 second highlight. But before I send this highlight off to my producer, the first thing that I have to do is create a shot sheet, which tells the on-air talent what is going on in the game. And this process is really simple. So here is the shot sheet. You have your situation, action, and result. For the first ISO shot, you're just given a quick matchup and maybe an important storyline. And then you have what's going on in the first clip, what's going on in the second clip, and then what you want to say in that closing clip, like, oh, in this instance, since Maris lost the game, I have to say they lost 1-0. Once that is done, I send it off to the producer of the show. He knows how to make sure that the on-air talent can use it. In this instance, I'll be the one voicing over that highlight. And this is how you create a highlight for a sports studio show. This is the exact process that they do at ESPN and other sport networks as well. Our school has had multiple people that have graduated, gone to work at ESPN and MLB Network, and doing this show and creating highlights is a big reason as to why they got hired there in the first place. So I hope this video was very informative on how to create a highlight, especially if you want to work in sports television behind the scenes. You're going to want to know how to do this. And I hope everyone who watches this can use this skill going forward.